Then if that was, um, R1 and R2, are they in series or parallel? They might appear to be parallel. So um, I should go over the definition of what it means for uh, two registers to, to be in series and what it means for them to be in parallel. Because, um, I mean, the language that we are using, it's rooted in what it looks at geometrically. But let me give you this picture and have you tell me if uh, this uh, represents uh, uh, registers in series or parallel. Let's say I have two registers. They are arranged along parallel lines. But let's say I add it to a battery this way. I have a battery here. And I add it to the battery using these lines, um, these wires. Wire here connects here. This wire here connects here. And this wire here brings it back down to here. So that, you know, it's like what you're doing in lab, right? So here, yeah, why do you say it's in series? In series because there is no, there is no um, consistent voltage for each resistor being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to define series that way because you are looking at it. I mean, there will be situations where two registers do not have the same voltage across, and it still won't be in series. So series does not mean, yeah, yeah. So I want to define series based on what this is, not what it's not. So how would you define this as a series circuit based on what it is? One path for current to follow. You know, they are in series in the sense. One comes first, and then the other comes. So in fact, that's how we are always going to define series. For two circuit elements to be in series, that means when a current flows through one element, that same current must flow through the other element. When, whenever that happens, we call that series. And so in that sense, is R1 and R2 in series? Look carefully. Current that's going through R2, must that flow through R1? As in, can you say that I2 must be equal to I1? Look at it carefully. If you are saying I2 is equal to I1, what are you saying about I3? Not equal. If you are saying I2 is equal to I1, what is I3? No, 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 use the junction rule. So, you know, I2, I3, and I1, they all meet together in this junction. This is I2, this is I1, this is I3. So can you say that I2 is equal to I1 without knowing anything more? Why not? Yeah. So because of this junction being here, you cannot say I2 is equal to I1. I mean, there's a path for you to go from here to there, but that's not the question asking, being asked when you are saying it's, if they are in series. If they are, when we are saying they are in series, we are not saying that there is a path. We are saying that path is the only path. That's what you see here. This path is the only path. That's what we mean current that flows through here must, not can, must flow through the other element. Here, the current through here, it doesn't must flow through R1. It, it, it can flow through the other elements also. Or you know, f current that's flowing through R1 could have come from elsewhere beyond here. So in that sense, R1 and R2 are not in series. OK, so, um, so we've satisfied ourselves that they are not in series. And the same thing holds for any other pairs of uh, registers here. None of them are in series. Um, let me go over definition of uh, parallel, because um, I really want to emphasize this. What parallel does not mean not series, and vice versa. Series does not mean not parallel. Um, I mean, so they are mutually exclusive, but they don't cover all possibilities. So once again, the same arrangement here. And if I'm imagining uh, connecting them in parallel, I guess this is how you, I would do. This is what you did in lab. You connected the battery to one set of registers, and then you used another set of wires to connect these here. So now you would call this in parallel, right? So give me some, um, 
so give me some definition of why you would not call this parallel. While you're thinking about that, let me draw an alternate version of this circuit. If I have circuit diagram that's drawn like this, Would you say that these two registers are in parallel? In fact, let me ask you a different question. Is this circuit equivalent to this circuit? Right? As in, you can imagine taking this, moving it around, not disconnecting anything. Maybe wires might stretch, but not disconnecting anything. You can imagine moving it around to make them look exactly the same. So um, there's a, it's kind of a question of topology. There's a topology joke saying that if you're a topologist, uh, coffee mugs and donuts look the same to you because donut has a hole in it and coffee mug in the handle, there's a hole in it. And the other parts of the uh, shape can be deformed without changing anything. It's the same thing with the circuit. When you deform some part of the circuit, as long as you are not messing up any of the junctions, as long as you are maintaining the same connections you have, you can deform the circuit to your heart's content without changing anything. So these two circuits are the same. So if this is parallel, this must also be parallel. So I want to have some definition of these things being parallel that applies to both of them. So how would you define circuit uh, registers as parallel or circuit elements as parallel? Well, so in this circuit, you see current dividing into two, right? And I'm going to end up saying this is not in parallel with this. So uh, with the parallel, actually, I want you to pay attention to the voltage. Because it comes down to this. Uh, when we look at current, um, there's just way too many possibilities. Uh, so with the series, remember, we nailed down one thing, that when you look at the current, one same current passed through, through all the elements. I want to have something similar here, and if I try to do it in terms of current, I have no chance of doing that ever. So what other thing remains? Voltage stays the same throughout its travel through the circuit. OK, with the voltage, I want you to be careful in stating things about voltage. Voltage does not move. Current does describe flow. So I would talk about current through a register. Voltage does not move. Voltage is measured at a single point. So now you might do this. You might say, OK, voltage at this point is 0 volts. And you might measure all the other voltages relative to th this. So um, when, when I say two circuit elements are in parallel, what I'm saying is something about voltages at particular points. So without describing anything as moving, because voltage has nothing to do with the movement, it has to be the values of voltage at particular points no path is for you to, um, to go through. So, so you are talking about voltage here. So what would you say about the voltage of these elements? You can look at change in voltage. As in, but I want to be actually more specific than that. Um, so this is how I can describe it in a way that's as, as simple as possible and true in every single instance you'll see it. Um, let me define points A, B, C, D. So these are points at the ends of each of these elements. And when I want to say these two are in parallel, this is what I mean. Voltage at point A is equal to voltage at point C. And voltage at point B is equal to voltage at point D. Good. I mean, in this particular case, what Kevin was saying also turns out to be true. If this is true, then the difference would be the same also. But I want to state it this way, because uh, when you get into semiconductor circuits, deal with OPMs, um, there is a very strange way of making things that are parallel that are not actually connected. Because, so, uh, but you know, 
So when, when we say some things are parallel, it really means the, their voltages at the end points are the same. That's the definition of something being parallel. Here, the voltage at this po end point is the same because it's the same end point. And voltages at these two end points are the same because they are connected by wire alone. Okay. So using that definition, R1 and R2, are they in parallel? As in voltages at these two end points. Is voltage at this end point the same as this? Oh, I guess it is. It's connected by wire. Is voltage at this end point connect same as uh, voltage at that end point? Why not? Yeah, because of this battery here. In fact, that's the whole reason I inserted the battery there. If you didn't have this battery, you could have simplified this circuit using these rules. You know, add these two as parallel, then the remaining is a series, add them as series, and you're done. But because of this battery, all of that is ruined. These are not in series because of this junction, and they are also not in parallel because of this battery. 